government and then financed by the Federal Reserve System with newly created money, people then have the right to take their money into the bank and demand gold, which causes the banking system and the Federal Reserve System to reduce Why the Why did Nixon of money. drop it? Excuse me? Why did Nixon drop it? Uh, because Nixon, like uh, Johnson before him, uh, was running a, a, a government deficit largely for political purposes. Arthur Burns, who was the chairman of the Federal Reserve under Nixon, um, was intimidated by um, So this would enforce discipline. Nixon. This would enforce discipline. That is exactly. It would enforce discipline on the budget. It would enforce a, a long-term discipline on the value of the dollar. It's especially uh, important to make the case that this, this is not for the elites. The gold standard is the people's money. It enables uh, the average person who can't speculate in the casino of Wall Street to make his living, store it in the bank, and when he comes to retire at the age of 65 or 70, have a constant purchasing power of that dollar to purchase a standard assortment of goods which is of the same value as when he saved that money out of his wages. You sound like Ron Paul. Well, look, uh, there are only some uh, very simple truths about honest money and a sound dollar. And well, that's what he wants. Yes, he does. And so he's, he's gonna, the closest to what you like. Forget Newt Gingrich, he's the closest to what you like. Well, uh, now, of course, Ron Paul and I collaborated on Ronald Reagan's Gold Commission in 1981 uh, in the Minority Report, uh, where we, uh, we insisted that we go forward uh, to a restored gold standard. You like we him, don't you? Debate. You like him. I do like him. Is I he your he, favorite? Uh, I, have, I, I haven't endorsed any candidate, and I don't think many people care Mitt about Mitt Romney endorsement. and the president. Who do you go for? Mitt Romney is, is so superior to the incumbent from the standpoint Mitt of... Mitt Romney and Ron Paul, who do you go for? I like them both. I think, <laughs> no, I think Mitt Romney has to go for the gold standard. That, I think, okay. is what he needs in his campaign. His campaign has been uh, criticized by being just too conventional, too uh, uh, in the middle. What he needs is a program of monetary reform. Real quick, I'm sorry, and you're killing me in the control room. We're going over here, but uh, <coughs> this whole debate with Governor Romney not releasing his tax records, maybe because he's hiding the fact or ashamed of the fact that he's paying 15% capital gains on a gazillion dollars or whatever it is, should he worry about it? No. Uh, uh, one thing he could have done was to have been a little bit more prepared. I ran for governor of New York a long time ago when you were in short pants. I and wish I were. I remember it vividly. I think you do remember it vividly, Neil. And uh, we, we prepared from the very beginning uh, when nobody even recognized my name to release my uh, tax returns. And uh, we notified everybody that in April, when the tax returns were filed, they would be available to the entire press corps. And they were. And the press corps mobbed the tax yeah, returns. Yeah, sure. They said, he's rich. He's yes. filthy rich. Well, by the de standards of today, I was a very, very You're modestly a pauper, endowed right. businessman. <laughs> You're being modest even today. Uh, all right, Lou Lerman, thank you very much. Uh, we're talking about Andrew Cuomo at the, the start of this broadcast. Uh, his dad, Mario Cuomo, and that gubernatorial race. <laughs> I always say it embarrass Lou. One for the ages. One for the ages. When, when campaigners were generally Gentlemen. They didn't take cheap shots at each other and a debate that was Lincoln Douglas-esque. We have never seen anything like that since. We'll have more after this.